Hi there and welcome to the second tutorial on using Construct 2. We're going to make a Space Invaders game in this series um, and we're going to learn about how to import sprites. So let's get ourselves started. So if you click on File and New and make a new empty project. Um, just like the last time, I'm going to name this project. So I'm going to say Space Invaders or something like that. Um, and I'm just going to I'm just going to leave everything um, as it is right now. So I'm going to leave a nice big area for us to move around in. So uh, we're going to we're going to insert some sprites. So the easiest way to do that is to actually find some. So uh, you can draw them yourself, and I highly recommend you do. But um, for now, let's for ease and speed let's just go and get some. So I typed in spaceship sprite into Google and chose the images tab. Um, I'm just going to pick one of these ones. So uh, just pick the very first one here. You can pick any one of the ones that you like. Now if you notice you click on it and you get the big version. If the um, background goes checkerboard like that it means that it's uh, it's got transparency and you probably want to try and find one like that. There's ways to deal with it but it's best to just find one like that. So we're going to save this image so just get click on uh, the image, right click on the image, sorry, click save image as. And I'm going to put mine um, just straight on my desktop for now and it's got a funny name so I'll just call it ship and save that. Um, while we're here I'm also going to find a background. Now this is a kind of an important thing as well, it's a space background and I said tileable and uh, sometimes it's called seamless um, but what you want it to do is you want it to be able to wrap across each other so if it, if you repeat the texture it doesn't it's not too obvious. So I just chose this one here it says a tileable pattern for backgrounds and I'm going to do the same thing save image as and I'm just going to call it um, space back ground and save that. Um, now how do we bring them into um, into Construct 2? So we're just going to start with the background and just double click anywhere again and rather than come bring this in as a sprite, you can if you really wanted to, but bringing it in as a tileable background uh, makes life a lot easier. So I'm going to click tileable background, double click that, click anywhere I want and then I need to find the image. So once you've got the image editor up, if you click on the little folder, it says load an image from a file. We'll click there and I put mine on my desktop so I'm just going to go and find it. So space background and click open and then I can just close this. Now the space background here um, is quite cool because uh, when you position it, if you make it bigger, it actually tiles across itself. So you don't, if you've got a nice image, a nice tileable image, then you won't see any difference from one side to the next. And um, you make it as big as you want. Now I want it to fill the whole area, um, and I could try dragging it, but I'm going to be clever and do it the clever way. So I'm going to click here to say, um, find out my layout size, which is 1708 by 960. Then I'm going to click on my image and then make sure that I change those the size to the same. So it was 1708 by 960 and just press enter. And I know it's the right size. Um, its position should be in the top corner, so that's 0, 0. Um, so now I know that fills the whole area. Now I'm going to double click and insert the spaceship. So this time it is a sprite, it's going to be my main actor. Click insert, click anywhere and then uh, load up the image. Now this spaceship, if I open this, is actually facing the wrong way to the way I want it. Um, you just have to trust me on this, it needs to be facing to the right so when the bullets come out um, they go along the x-axis. Um, so we're just going to spin it around. So you can do this with the rotate 90 degrees clockwise. If you click on that it should change its direction and that's um, all that I need. To just close that window now, move it back and make it a lot smaller because I want it to be a tiny spaceship for now. Um, Alright, um, one little thing that I'm going to show you if uh, you often very much find that you're trying to put things on your backdrops um, but that you end up constantly clicking the backdrop instead of the thing you wanted. So we're going to show you just quickly about layers. Um, a layer is a way of just separating out um, different layers of objects, strangely enough. Um, the, uh, you'll find a layers tab next to projects. Um, right now there's only one layer and it's perfectly fine to have a game with just one layer but I'm going to make my life easy and change it into two layers. So this this layer here, uh, layer 0, I'm going to change its name. So you can go to the pen and click rename and I'm just going to call it BG which is short for background in my mind. Um, the background layer um, contains um, both these objects right now. So uh, if I click on this, you'll see on the left hand side on the properties. I'm on the background, you'll see the layer is BG um, and it's the same for this one. Um, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a secondary layer. So I'm going to hit plus here and rename that again just with the pen. Oh, not that one. I'm going to choose the new layer and rename that one. Uh, I'm going to call this game. And uh, what I'm going to do is just move this onto the game layer. So if you click on the player, go up to the properties on the left and where it says BG, change that to game. So now with um, this is on the the background is on the background and the game layer the game spaceship is on the game layer so what I'm going to do is just go to the BG layer and lock it so that I can't even if I tried select the background um, now make sure that you select back to the game layer so that you know that the object that you want is on the right place um, before I end this video I'm quickly going to add in the behaviors for this so it shouldn't be unusual we click on the behavior so I've got my spaceship I've click on behaviors click plus and we're going to add in three things we're going to add in the eight directions movement click add we're going to add in the scroll to behavior so that the camera follows it and we're going to add in the bound to layout so it can't go outside the layout um, if you play this game right now you'll see that um, when you move around uh, it actually points in the direction that it's moving, and I kind of, I kind of like it, but I don't need this for them for my game. I need it to just point the same way all the time, so when I can, when I'm shooting the bad guys, I can uh, just shoot off to the right. So I'll just quickly show you how to change it. If you select on it, you'll see on the left the behaviors has some properties, and you can change those. Um, as much as you like. Um, the eight directions is fine, but the set angle I want to change to no. And uh, that's all we really need. If you now move, you can still move in the eight directions with the keys. Uh, the camera follows you, but you always face the one direction, which is exactly what I'm after. And that's it for this video.